This is Mr. David Kears, who is the director of the Healthy Health Services. I will try to keep my comments brief in, in lieu of all of the presentations and again the, the published desires. I am Dave Kears. I am the Health Care Services Agency Director. I've held that position for over 23 years. I was a mental health director before that and had other positions prior to that. So I have about 35 years with the county and I've seen lots of changes. Unfortunately, many of them not so good and many of them, some of them better. I've watched, in fact, seven acute hospitals in this county close from Herrick to Peralta to Providence to Oakland to Oak Knoll to Vesper and to Fairmont's acute emergency and medical surgery. I've seen the system shrink dramatically and move towards a better integrated approach. I've also seen it change and collapse and consolidate in ways that we wouldn't recognize 15 or 20 years ago. I came to your board several months ago primarily for the interest of saving one hospital, which was St. Rose Hospital, which is a disproportionate chair of hospital. For those in the audience, what that means, in fact, the hospital, by its history and its commitment, sees a disproportionate number of Medicaid and Medicare such that they weren't special dispositions. Your board worked with us in a broader strategy that involved the entire community to save that hospital. And in that process, we began a dialogue for what other hospitals were at risk, what other services were projected to close. Key among them, from the county's perspective, was the loss of Fairmont Acute Rehab Program on the Fairmont campus. Why that was important is in lieu of the need to remove Laurel Grove and the, and the seismic requirements to bring on uh, the Fairmont Acute Rehab Program. And the county essentially spent all of its money or designated all of its money simply to save the Highland Acute Care Bed. So we knew that we simply did not have a financial way to replace one hospital and we were forced to look at what it would be necessary to gain access to acute rehab beds. We began an exploration of whether or not there was space anywhere. We approached, again, your board, your Eden Hospital, to look at whether or not there was adequate space at the campus of San Leandro Hospital. We'd ask Wright Lassiter and his staff to do a fiscal and a program analysis of that space. It became clear that anything short of taking over the overall hospital would not work economically, could not be sustained over time without any additional subsidy, either from the county or for you. We then looked at it, okay, if that were viable, and again, we were mindful of the fact that, it, that the whole issue of Sutter and even purchasing the hospital was based on turning it into an acute rehab hospital. We looked at the hospital, and, and Bright Lassiter and his staff will speak to that specifically, of turning it into that acute rehab hospital. So then the consequence of it, what would happen if we lost it? We looked at the ambulance data, we looked at all of the data, those who were transported over a given year to San Leandro Hospital, and to the extent that we had data, we looked at the East emergency room field. We tried to look at the capacity of the system as a whole and see what conclusions we could make. On the EM, on that hospital transports, and again, the Eden District is essentially in a system where almost all of the transports are done by ambulance, not by fire. We found that, and not surprisingly, about 5% of those are what we call the critical care. The sirens running, the cars going. And about 95 fall into the category of code 2, which again is important, but again is not life-threatening kinds of issues of disease. We looked at the data, and then initially we thought that the data suggested that 80% of the population was in fact in need of just urgent care. There was some correction to that. And it brought it down to closer to 50 percent, and I believe physicians at, Eden, at uh, St. San Leandro Hospital have spoken to that issue. We'll stand corrected on that. But we also looked at the capacity of the system, and when we looked at the total capacity of the system, not the value of San Leandro Hospital as a community hospital, which is again uncontested, not the value of the service it provides to which the people who use that, which again is uncontested. But when we looked at it from a systems point of view. Where we had the most compromised access to care, increasingly over and over again, even with Fairmont Institute Rehab operating, even with Laurel Grove in full operation, what we found is that there is an increasing decline. The greatest increase in demand is really for a good rehab bed. When we looked at what the consequences of losing the 34 to 35 beds or whatever I'll speak to at Fairmont and then losing the 17 at Laurel Grove, there would be no way as a system, as a system, and if I look at all the hospitals, people come from all over the place, that we could sustain ourselves. 
So the critical value was is that we needed a 50 plus bed acute rehab program. Quite frankly, if we could go way above that, we would be pleased. But the demand is there. When I try to reach these conclusions again, I want to repeat, San Leandro Hospital is an excellent hospital. I know family members, I know people who use that hospital, they speak highly of it. Again, no one's contesting that. We know that it has good and valuable services. We know that, however, though, we do believe and do strongly in my office, and I ask this of all my EMS staff, is that as difficult it would be to lose that hospital, that as soon as that we could weather that loss, if in fact and when in fact, even when we rebuilt and had the expanded ED, and with the commitment we made to St. Rose, the 30 additional medical surgical beds would be added at St. Rose. It's not a perfect system. Quite frankly, it's not the solution we would want. We want to rebuild Fairmont on Fairmont. We would like to have the money to do that. We would like to have the money to guarantee San Leandro Hospital would continue. That's not in the card. As we speak, there are major proposals throughout Sacramento, throughout the already adopted in the budget, that will make it harder and harder for anybody on Medicare or Medicaid or any other kind to get access to care. Hospital rates will be cut across the board in all of the systems. So what we're trying to do is find something and come up with a proposal that we think will work for the entire system, that it won't work just for five years or ten years, that can be a part of the community for the, like, as is Fairmont. For those of you who know the history of Fairmont, it was built in the 1860s. So the kind of commitment that says we're not in it for a decade or two, but we're in it for a lifetime, is the kind of thing that the county and the medical center brings to the table. So again, a conclusion we draw is that as important as San Leandro Hospital is, from a systems perspective, the need for an acute care rehab hospital is far greater than the loss of those beds. And it's for that reason that we pursued this option. Once we thought that was the only option to closing it on the table, it is still the option we think is the best option. And again, I do not say that diminishing the value or the importance of the affection that people have for that hospital. Just the reality that I deal with, that we make choices all the time, most of those are very tough choices. And most of them require losing something to gain something else. That's all that I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Dave.